Hello, my name is Brady Nice Warner, and this summer I've been working with Dr. Yambo Yao, as well as my secondary mentor, Heather Cheney, on the cloning of bovine agouti signaling protein into PCDNA 3.1 mice assay. So to start with some background, oocyte competence, which is the ability of the oocyte to remain healthy and result in a pregnancy, is determined by the transcripts and proteins present in the oocyte. Supplementation of such proteins into media during bovine in vitro fertilization, or IVF, has been shown to increase embryonic development into the blastocyst stage. The agouti signaling protein, or ACIP for short, is expressed in the bovine ovary, oocyte, and early embryo. However, the role of ACIP in reproduction is not currently known. To examine the impact of ACIP protein supplementation on bovine oocyte maturation and early embryonic development in vitro, recombinant bovine ACIP must be produced. So in order to achieve this, the objective was to clone the ACIP coding region into a common mammalian vector. The methods used to do this started by using polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, to amplify bovine ACIP from plasma DNA. The products of that were then run on a gel, and that can be seen here in figure two. The important thing to note is the ACIP insert is about 400 base pairs, so it always shows up right around that fourth bar on the 100 base pair ladder. From that point, the PCR product and the PCDNA 3.1 mice hisse backbone were prepared for double digestion using restriction enzymes. The products from that double digestion were then run on a gel, and it can be seen here that the ACIP product shows up right around 400 base pairs and the backbone shows up around 5,500 base pairs. The products were then excised from the gel and placed into a ligation together. From that point, ACIP was ligated into the backbone, and that can be illustrated here by figure one. Um, this really helps with kind of visualizing what's going on. You can see that the ACIP insert is being kind of stitched into place here at the BAMH1 and XHO1 sites of the plasmid. The other important thing to note here is the ampicillin uh, resistance gene here. So in theory, any bacteria that should be transformed with this plasmid should be able to survive in a plate that has ampicillin in it. Uh, so from that point, the ligation and E. coli cells were then plated on an LB agar plate containing ampicillin. Then from that first plate, the 15, 15 individual bacterial colonies were restricted and used for colony PCR, PCR to identify positive clones. That PCR is shown here, and colony six showed the most apparent expression of ACIP, so it was selected for further work. Colony six was cultured in LB medium with ampicillin overnight, and the plasma DNA from the bacteria was purified. Double digestion and PCR were used to confirm proper integration of the bovine ACIP insert into the vector as well as the bacteria. That double digestion can be shown here. And you can see that up from the plasma DNA from the bacteria, the backbone shows up on the gel as well as an insert at about 400 base pairs. So in theory, ACIP should be properly integrated into the plasma DNA. However, we wanted to further verify this. So Sanger sequencing of the PCDNA 3.1 mice hisse ACIP plasma DNA was performed by the WVU Genomics Core and confirmed the coding region was inserted into the vector. The data sent back from the Genomics Core can be seen here, and we compared it to the known sequence of ASIP, and there was a 100% match. So that kind of proves that the bovine ASIP coding region has been successfully incorporated into the vector and replicated by bacterial cells to produce large quantities of purified DNA. Future experiments will include delivering the ACIP plasma DNA to mammalian cells to isolate the recombinant ACIP protein to determine its effect on oocyte maturation and or embryonic development in cattle. Uh, I would just like to thank the SURE program as well as the USDA for funding this project. And I would also like to thank the WVU Genomics Corps for its contributions to this pro project as well. Uh, I hope you all enjoy listening and have a great rest of your day.